What's going on ladies and genitals? My name is Chaboy, and I haven't yet done a commentary in over a month. And, and I think the reason why is because I'm not a really big commentary fan, but I might change it up a little bit, you know, do a commentary every week. It depends if you guys enjoy these commentaries, because I know a lot of you people subscribe for montages and the rest of it, but I really want to change it up a little bit and get to know you guys a little bit more. And I'm going to ask you guys something in a minute, but we're on Aftermath here on Marquez Monolith. And I, I don't normally use the sniper, guys, and I'm, I'm usually an RPG engineer kind of guy. But look at this, I actually thought I got the passenger hanging out on the right-hand side of the helicopter. But I was lucky enough to get that square inch into the pilot's head. I think it just squeezed past the passenger there. Pretty damn lucky, but unlucky for the pilot himself. But... The main question that I really wanted to ask is, can you guys take part in my 100,000 subscribers video? If so, the link is in the description to add me on Facebook, I will be making a schedule up to join a 64 man server, and pretty much we'll be doing some crazy ass shit like doing 64 man knife battles on the top of Golf of Oman Hotel. And if you're worrying about not having a PC and you only have a console, then don't worry guys because I have a little party trick up my sleeve for you guys that are on console as well. And if you're like, Chad boy, why do you sound so weird? It's because it's a really wintry, wintry day at my end of the street. I live in Scotland and it's snowing, snowing really bad out there and I think I've caught the colds and I've got a sore throat. So I've been just taking a little backseater from Battlefield 3 just now just to see what happens. Let the openness take its place and... You know, chill for a little bit, and I think that's what I really need, a little bit of a chill pill from Battlefield 3. But don't get me wrong guys, I am really excited for this 100,000 subscribers video that you guys have been waiting for, and I really want you guys to take part, so please don't miss on it. And look at these guys, camping like motherfuckers up in this little building, when Chaboy comes in here just knife the fucking shit out of you. Spawn camping my team, the little fuckers, but not on my watch. Take a blade in the neck, my boy, because that's all you're going to get from Chai Boy just now, because I am on Mark as Monolith, one of my favourite maps, and I don't really think I've explained why it is my favourite map, and I'm going to do that right now, because I've got time to do so. So why do I think Mark as Monolith is my favourite map? Well, basically because you do have a helicopter that you don't get in other maps, such as Epicenter, Talon Marker, or Izadi Palace. I think this map is basically designed for conquest and I think the other maps are designed for conquest as well but I think they're in the rush category because you don't get helicopters or aircraft in those kind of maps and this is why I love Marquez Monolith because you do get a helicopter as I've said but also you do get all the aftermath vehicles that did come with the expansion pack and the only thing that's missing for me on Marquez Monolith is that you don't get any earthquakes and I think you only get earthquakes on the map epicenter but I think it would have been a good feature to bring in Mark as Monolith and I think they said on the trailer that you do get earthquake environment maps. A little bit of disappointment from Battlefield 3 there when they could have said a map, you know, not maps. But another news end game is coming in March 2013 so really can't wait for that especially because you get a motorbike one of my favourite vehicles of all time. And I think I'm going to be enjoying that, plus you get Capture the Flag game mode, which is one of my favourite game modes. And I think with that being in Battlefield 3, I think it's going to be one of the best expansion packs ever. But we're going to need to wait and see what the other vehicles are, because I think they're hiding a two-man jet in there somewhere. And i um, really looking forward to that, if that does happen. But we'll soon see, guys. We'll soon see. Because I really think DICE is hiding something big, big up their sleeves for Endgame and they haven't yet told us, but we'll never know until we get our hands on Endgame. So thanks for watching guys, my name is Chaboy, hope you enjoyed the commentary as well as the gameplay, and if you could leave me a comment under rating guys, it's always much appreciated, I always read through the comments. Thank you for watching guys, and goodbye.